You afraid of dying, Joe? Yes, I am. Well, I'm afraid of losing my ability to be able to come and go as I please. Lose my freedom. Not be able to get back up on those hills again. First morning out, heading out to, from TJ Crowell or Scorpion Crowell's over to the Middle Fork. Then Jordan Hot Springs, spend the night there. There's supposed to be a lot of people over there because there's a lot of campers, so we'll just see how it turns out. I was 10 years old and I was riding a roan gelding my dad had named Poco. He was a Poco Bueno bred horse. And we were riding, we had a guy named Bill Wiley with us. He was from back east somewhere hunting. And we were right, and it's this exact same spot right here. See that? See that? And this is, I'm 56 now, so 10 years old, that was 46 years ago. That, that log right there, we rode right straight by here on the trail. And Dad turned around and looked at Bill Wiley. He said, you want to go shoot that big buck standing on that little hill in uh, that canyon? Uh -huh. And we turned around and walked over here and right, right on that little white hill right there. Right there, uh -huh. there was a buck standing sideways right there. Nice eight point buck, you know, not, not no record, but and I, never, I was just a little kid and Bill Wiley, he, he laid his gun right across that log, that log right, there. right there. huh? Boom, shot and that buck jumped up, landed about five foot down and boom, he shot again and then just walked over the hill. And dad told me, of course he's always hollering at me, telling me what to do, he said, you go down, take your gun and you go down there. And it's the same 30-30 I carry. Mm -hmm. Go down there and go over that hill and see if you can find some blood or where that buck went. Uh -huh. He said, we're going to take the horses around. They went around and came down. I went over. And that buck, he just walked right over that hill and died. Uh, oh, man, this deer hunting, this is what I like. <laughs> man, I bet we didn't see another buck for five years. We're here at Jordan Hot Springs. There's a lot of people around. People walking up and down the, the canyon. We've never been here when there was this many people. Anyway, we got here early. It only took us, uh, I don't know, we left about nine. It took us about three hours to get here. Anyway, we got our camp. Making some coffee, got fire ready. Should be good. Hottest up there where the water comes out of. Drop down where someone made a second pool here. And then it goes down to the Gila River and mixes in with all that cold water. Oh, who's this? It is. Day two, slept good. It's a quarter till seven. I don't know what the temperature is. I didn't bring my little uh, thermometer deal that my daughter gave me. 
wish I had. I think I left it in the truck in that other bag. But anyway, it's, I think it's, we're up higher, but I think what's warmer this morning than it was uh, last night down, down at, at a lower elevation. I don't know, maybe this canyon for some reason held the heat in or something, I don't know. Anyway, drink some coffee. It's our second morning. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We're packed up and heading out. Nice day, beautiful day. four miles to go from where we we're gonna to camp tonight and it's 20 till 4 we made pretty good time coming down that mountain so we just decided to ride on in we'll be there I don't know we'll probably be there by 430 so we'll be at the trailer so it was good this is just a well beat out trail right here getting people up and down in Anyway, it's a good day. Probably 14 miles today is what I'm going to say. Something like that. Long day. Your stay is a short day. Tomorrow will be a no day, really. Anyway, here we go. I'm sore. Are you? Uh, yeah, I haven't a long time. That was a long day. I bet it was every bit of 15 miles. 